Okay, who do I have here? Paul Morrison. Paul Morrison, man. Yeah, uh, how old are you, Paul? I am 75. 75, one of the old boys, huh? Yep. Yeah, you're like the commissioner of the Monday Night League or something? I am. Oh, no. yeah, you do a great job there. That's a great league. Yeah. So listen, Paul, we're, we're here to talk about uh, our generation compared to uh, the, today's generation. What do you think? How do you compare the two? I, well, as you see here, our generation is still trying to go. You know, a mm -hmm. bunch of guys here, they're old, they can't do what they used to do, but they're out here trying. And, and that's what's so much fun about Post Road and the senior softball. We're able to do something that uh, our bodies tell us we can't do it, and it hurts, and we don't do it as well as we used to, but we do it, and the camaraderie and, and the interaction with everybody is just really great. So what is your recommendation to your family that comes behind you uh, and some of the people listening to this? What, how do you get to the point that you're at 75 still moving? Recommendation is to, to get out and do something. And, and if something hurts, work through it. Don't, don't stop because stopping means that you've given up. And, and don't give up. Don't give up. We've got up. guys out here that are in their 80s, and they're still trying, and once in a while... They're not the best players, obviously, but once in a while they make a good play or they make a good hit, yeah. and, and everybody appreciates it. I got to go before they give me trouble. Extra innings, a new beginning. Extra innings, because the game of life is not complete. Talking to now? Don Werner. Now, how old are you, Don? 75. Where were you born? Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. Yeah, boy. So, look, man, what do you think about uh, our generation compared to what's going on in today's world? Our generation? Our daddies made us work, so we knew how to work for a living. These kids nowadays, they don't want to work. They just want a paycheck. Yeah, everybody graduates from high school wants to be vice president of their own company, but they don't know it takes a lot of hard work. Well, I did graduate from high school, and I was the vice president of my company. <laughs> a big one, it might it be. Took forty years. Yeah, they tell me you're like a one, one you know, a five percenter in the, in the country, huh? Five percent of what? Of the of the wealthiest people. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've done the data and the research, so I, I'll put you there. Okay, well, let's get on. But I want to know what you say to the young people. Uh, of today to be successful and, and even in the context of uh, you're you're really healthy you're well how old did you say you were 75 75 dude and you're right one year behind me so how'd you live so long I mean with uh, what do you contribute that to well um, I was lucky I worked for the same company for 42 years had good insurance took care of myself played ball ever since I was in the third grade you eat well Eat good, yeah. What's your diet? I mean, you eat a lot of red I meat or you eat sugar or what? Steak, potatoes. Oh, really? Cereal. Yeah, you probably got good, good genes, huh? Well, yeah, my daddy lived to be 90 and his daddy lived to be 90. So if I live to be 90, I got 15 years left. So give me a secret that, uh, you know, the people out there, you know, could take away from this little tidbit. What do you recommend to live a long life? Uh, well, you got to take care of yourself. No smoking, drinking, running around with ugly women and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, but uh, running around with good-looking women's all right. Well, that won't hurt you. That gets you canceled pretty damn quick in today's world. Unless though. your wife finds out. <laughs> well, I guess we ain't going to be able to put this on the air. No, I guess not. Yeah, well, I'm going to. <laughs> you have a Merry Christmas, man. Okay, Merry Christmas. Bye. Turn on the lights. We're playing into the night. Extra innings where the winning is extra sweet. The first few innings are your teens and twenties. You're just starting out. I talk to you now. Dan Derrickani. Where are you from, Dan? Well, originally from Detroit, but moved down here when I was six months old. So I've been here all my life. You're from all area, then, just like me. Huh? I've been yeah. down here most of my life too. <laughs> so how old are you, big guy? Uh, 75. 75. I'll be 76 in May. They're yeah, going to do a video on you a hand grip one of these days, but we're here to talk to you about uh, what do you think the difference in our generation and today's generation is? And uh, well, a lot more knowledgeable. The ones today seem to be ignorant. <laughs> yeah, on certain subjects, they get Google, they can get to, but uh, that's right. Yeah, Not we are. We, they don't have. we believe God, country, and uh, or family, God, God, family, country, something in that order. Today we're either Democrats or Republicans, but the young people seem to want everything given to them. Yeah, it seems to be the way it is. So what, what would you say, uh, what would you leave to uh, your ancestors, what, what made you successful in life? You've been very successful. Never give up. 
That's no matter what you do. Never give up. It looks like our team's out in the field. Okay, buddy. Well, thanks a lot, Dan. All right. Have a good one. Hey, who do I have here? Uh, Terry McElrath. I'm 73 years old. I was born in Iowa, lived there until I was 18, and then went in the Air Force. The Air Force, uh, what were you, a general? No, no, I was a senior master sergeant. Okay, he, one of them bossy guys. Yep, I'm one of the guys that did the work. <laughs> oh, that explains everything yep. out here, man. Yeah. No, well, Terry, uh, you're a great hitter and all that, but we're not here to talk about softball. We're here to uh, talk about uh, what are your thoughts on our generation versus today's generation? I think our generation's a lot smarter. I think we know a lot. We grew up under different principles, and so I think we learned by hard times, and I think we spoiled our kids like I did. Now, let me ask you a question here, because people might say, what do you mean smarter? Not, but are, are you meaning, you're not talking about book learning necessarily, no, but just general in, general in life, right? right? Win and lose. In life. Now, we have a mentality of win and lose, and I think the mentality they have today is, well, I participated, so I'm as good as anybody else. That's right. Now, what do you think about that concept? I, I agree with you. That's the way it is. I think yeah. so, too. What would you leave to your grand? Do you have a favorite saying? Uh, or well, well, look, you're in good shape. You run still in the outfield, and you were how old again? Seventy-three. Seventy-three, dude. You still run like a you know a sixty-year-old. What do you attribute that to? Uh, I didn't, because <laughs> I was a late bloomer, and I didn't didn't play sports in high school or college, so my well, body's still in shape. <laughs> yeah, you are. You do it really well. So. I didn't start doing anything until I was in nineteen in the Air Force. Do you eat special or anything? Nope. Like that? No, I don't. Uh, don't anybody take after me as a diet because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a junk food addict. Okay, so uh, give me a quote. Give me one of your famous quotes, oh, or make it famous. It may not be famous now. <laughs> Think about it. I don't know that I got one. You got one? Ooh. No. What did your dad ever tell you? Anything your dad passed on to you? How to fish. <laughs> How to fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when we do a fishing story. I'll get back with you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, buddy. <laughs> The middle innings are the heart of your life There's no doubt Then you get to the ninth And your life is complete But then you give an egg Who now? Vern Tabor Vern Tabor, how old are you Vern? Would you believe? 82 Oh wow dude, I didn't know you were that old uh, Slowing yeah. down though Now, uh, do you have do you have anything you how, Physically, how are you? You, you all uh, doing? Thanks, thanks to softball Thanks to softball, why is that? Well, the doctor told me about about uh, when I was age 55, he says, uh, you're a candidate for a stroke. And so I made a change, retired early. 27 years ago, came out here. And You've been out here for 27 years? These guys have kept me alive. 230 people have got to know out here. And I always ask them, what do you do in real life? And it's interesting finding out just what all people what did. did you do in real life? I'm interested. I've, you've been out, now, do you have, do you have you, can you hear both? You, oh, yeah. It's just I see with one eye. Oh, you got one eye. That's it. Yeah. They, you know, when I first came out, I said, "Man, that guy didn't move on the ball." They said, "Well, he's only got one eye." <laughs> and so a, we got to get. But and a cataract. <laughs> well, I'm getting cataract operation tomorrow. So Tell me what, how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Cataract yeah, on the. No, on the good eye. On the good eye. <laughs> you need to get, look, I'm going to do, I will, I will. I'm well, getting both of my. I talked to the doctor, I said, you know, sometimes I don't pick the ball up off the bat. He laughs and he said, we don't do cataract surgery for that. <laughs> <at your age. laughs> oh, because you're that old. That's right. Well, yes. you know. Well, I like to get back to how these guys treat you because that's a theme out here. A couple of people, uh, you know, you didn't play ball for a long time. You just came out here and played. And No, I started playing ball at the eight, at early age of 31. 31. Never played baseball or nothing, and some guys invited me to church. I came out and saw church people can have fun. Finally came to know my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ there, and I loved softball. And so it's and these guys it's been love good you, huh? for my spiritual and my physical health. And I'm gonna to have to let it go eventually, but uh, why is that? I got there, I just inducted a guy in the Hall of Fame last week, 91 years old, and he's the, he's the, you know he had a hell of a spirit, and I think that's what keeps you going. Oh, it is. I mean, there ain't no way I would have thought 27 years ago I'd still be. Here. You made some good friends out here, huh? Yes, yes, really have. And out here we got guys at all kinds of levels, you know, yes, which is, you know it's all about enjoyment, yeah. you know. And you know, Ed, I think I know a little bit about you. Uh, oh, really? You, what? you were born in Browns Mills? Yeah, how'd you know? I lived in Browns Mills. No way! Yes. When? I was in, that would have been early 50s. Mirror Lake. Oh, God, I was, man, I, li I lived on, on Phillips Avenue. 
I don't remember. Did, did that. you know John Earl and the guy who owned the, the dealership there? Did you? No, but I remember that dealership. Yeah. Went to school in Pemberton. That's where I would have went to school, but then my mother sent me to military school. When we missed the school bus in the morning, you know, Mirror Lake was just a, a skinny lake, and it, it's frozen over. And if you, you miss know, the school bus, you, you know, just walk across and catch it when it comes around. On the other so side. you live down near Mirror Lake? Yes. Yeah, so man, we off camera we'll do some talking about oh, yeah. that, but uh, a lot of people drown there. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The I was gonna say, you remember that the school that was on the corner there, right right across from the church at yeah. that light? Yeah. Well, I went to school there. My memory there. One day I got so you know I was like I don't like this damn school. I just walked off, dude, and went walked home. <laughs> <laughs> Had some great memories there. Oh, we yeah, Browns. How'd you find out I was from Browns Mills? I was watching one of your videos. And uh, I thought I heard you say that uh, you were talking to some Jersey boy, and and you mentioned something about uh, Browns Mills. I thought well, that's what well, you we said. got something in common. That's great, man. Yeah. That's the only thing. You're a Hall of Famer, and I'm just looking. <laughs> Dude, hey, it doesn't matter about that out here, man. It matters that that what, what I think what's most important about the game is what you just said about the guys out here. That you know, it, yeah, we're we're competing, but you know. We're we're just making it friendly for everybody. Is, you know what I mean? It's a lifesaver. I, I just recommend it for uh, if you want to stay alive after. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so sweet. Extra innings. They're a whole new start. You gotta chase your dreams. Listen to your heart. The way you play.